generally the university will post on that a week or so before the career fair it posts a list of companies there are filters you can filter it by who's going to offer h1b who's going to hire internationals what field these companies have what departments are they looking for everything is given and that's how you shortlist 10 companies make a list when you go to the career fair you get a map of which companies located where and uh, prioritize most of the people actually get jobs by applying online a career fair not necessarily you get a job i never thought about my job through a career fair i got it through an online application so at michigan tech for mechanical we had a uh, cummins we had a uh, kohler so up to this is mechanical electrical both cummins kohler and uh, fev and uh, we had bosch and we had uh, Mercury Marine, Magna, Textron, so six, seven good company, Johnson Controls, Black and Beach. Thirty to forty percent of them do land up with internships, and if you don't, it's not a big deal. Engage yourself in other things, projects at the university, working with professors and stuff like that. You never know what works out. Four times, generally between 65 and 75, is a pretty decent number for a mechanical engineering entry level position. For internships, anything around 20 to 25 dollars an hour. Research well about the company, and if you see there is a position open for you, target that position. Try and convince the recruiter standing there whom you're talking to what on your resume is actually a very good fit for the position and what skill sets of yours. Are actually going to be an asset to that company. When it comes to a full time, you are actually all hands on deck, and you're approaching the company with much more uh, certainty from your end, much more confidence, and a slight amount of desperate uh, nature also inside you. But uh, there is, uh, you need to be modulating yourself in a good way in order to earn an opportunity at a career fair. It's not very easy, honestly. It's not very easy to get a job from the career fair, but it's an experience. You learn a lot. For technical questions, it's more of your curriculum. Obviously, you should know the basics of uh, what you have studied and more importantly, the basics of the job you're applying for. Now, it's not necessarily that the job you're applying for is going to include everything that you've studied. It might not include anything. So you need to know the technicalities of that job position because there's a job requirements and job descriptions page that every position will have. So if you're called for an interview for that position, read through the job description very, very, very well. For preparation, um, mainly it's the behavioral questions because uh, there's a lot of uh, twists and turns and uh, tricks that could be played over there. Google is one of the very good ways where you could get top 10 or 20 behavioral questions, uh, field specific and stuff. But in the end, your career services department also comes up real, real good help because they have they have students so in the career service department you find a lot of students who have attended multiple career fairs who have experience with interviews who are going to guide you and a lot of professors also over there so that's a very good option